What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This has been a long requested video, so I'm going to do a quick update video of what is in my like pen tester bag. Um, so, ethical hacking, right? Uh, so what you've got here on the table, I, I worked this two different ways. One was like to bring it all out and then try to record it versus just have it all out and then go over it. And I think this will work best. Spilling the bag on the table or letting the cat out of the bag as you want to say and then just go over what each thing is versus trying to bring it in and out of the bag. Um, so I laid it all out and what we're going to do is go from left to right as best we can and try to cover at least the highlights um, of what everything is here. And uh, a lot of this gear you'll see is from Hack5. They, uh, if you're not familiar with Hack5, Hack5.org, uh, they produce some of the best pen testing gear out there, uh, so why not invest in it, especially if that's what you do. Uh, some of their tools are utterly awesome and amazing, so uh, definitely want to go from there. Disclaimer, my laptop and portable screen are not in this uh, video, okay? They're separate, um, so I, I do have a laptop and I have a portable screen and also a little foldable keyboard. Don't have them in here um, because they're actually in a separate like little messenger bag that I carry. Everything else packs into here, this is the kit. So let's start. Uh, first off, an Anchor Power Core power bag. Gotta have Anchor Power Core. Uh, this guy powers a couple different things and charges stuff up. Uh, so that's a key piece. Um, then like a little Sims, SIM kit. This here, got some SIM cards, just based on what you need to do. Um, you know, this is good to have. It's got some, uh, uh, all different types of adapters and SIM cards and stuff in it. So, um, when you're working with some mobile stuff, um, that's always a good little tool to have. Uh, UBO keys. This is basically for my access to my stuff. Uh, don't use this with other people's things because... Uh, in fact, right now I've got the uh, 5C uh, that I use to actually get into my laptop. And if you don't know what a YubiKey is, uh, <clears throat> basically the concept is like a key to a car, right? Um, so I have to insert it into like the USB slot, uh, physically be at my laptop and have that key uh, to get in. Okay, I can't remote to it. Uh, I can't log in, use a bio. I have to have that key. And if you want to go a little bit further, you can like get keys with bio built in so not only do you have to have the key there you know somebody could like steal your key and then get into your laptop or if you keep your key with your laptop right well duh, it's like putting the key in the car and leaving it unlocked uh, so also you have to have your bio there uh, so that's another layer of protection so good stuff if you're interested in Yubi keys uh, definitely check it out Google has one too but it's Bluetooth based as well I don't like that Bluetooth is hackable uh, antennas so I have three antennas, mainly this is for a Wi-Fi pineapple. Okay, we'll get to that. Uh, the lighting. So sometimes if you're in dark spices, you need some different lights. Uh, this is a stick, and remember I said this actually power stuff. This isn't actually what I use this for, but if I plug that in, voila, got an LED light stick. That's only one side. I have this little guy here and uh, basically pull off his lid, maybe, I can put it behind the camera, there we go, and then this one is a double sided, so he has LEDs on both sides, oh, got one out, so uh, just a little bit of uh, portable lighting abilities, right, uh, let's move on, little, uh, this is a uh, USB drive, and that's a, it's, it's, it's the old style, it's, but you know, with an adapter you can go into a Type-C or whatever you want to do here. Cool thing is, uh, the data I pull off is basically ways to get into the kingdom. So you got to secure your data. So any data that I pull off, I encrypt and put a code on it. If that got out, that could be very bad, uh, as it is the vulnerabilities of whoever you're, 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 you're pen testing, right? All right, so you don't want to have that data get in anyone's hands. Protect it. That's what you got to do. Uh, also, another little antenna. This here is for a wireless, um, like a USB wireless modem 
So uh, great for getting packets out of the air. Uh, in fact, this is the one it goes to. This is an alpha. Um, so you can plug this in USB and actually capture packets out of the air. Uh, another one you can do that with is this TP-Link. Um, so sometimes this is a higher gain. I use that one uh, and, and like it. And the chipset on that uh, allows you to do it. Okay, Not all these USB Type-C's will be able to um, basically sniff packets in the air. These here, you can do that. It's good stuff, right? Um, a Western Digital Black Drive. Uh, so I don't put critical uh, data on here. This is just super fast. I keep a lot of um, digital files uh, on here that like our how-to's, uh, utilities, all that kind of stuff, and it's very very fast. Uh, and I just like it. it. Looks like a little looks like a little hacker box, doesn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I almost dropped it. It is rugged, so I could have dropped it, no problem. And it is SSD. Uh, some of the little tools in the front. So we've got a USB to Ethernet. It's an RJ45. Uh, will allow you to um, obviously plug in wired to USB uh, and do some packet taking, you know, versus you know having it in the air or whatever. Uh, the heart and the brain of the operation. Uh, this is a Cali box. It's a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a 3B plus. So um, it has a SD card micro SD card in it that is running Kali Linux. So all the little tools and stuff are on this little Raspberry Pi. I got this kick butt, um, this is metal, uh, sticker that uh, somebody created and uh, I got it on Amazon but I don't think they produce them anymore but that was like perfect. I liked it. And the, the box for this is like a flick, 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 I don't remember what, uh, yeah there we go, flirk, 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 it's a flirk box. Um, I really like this. It kind of reminded me of um, those old Dell Nux. Uh, just I think it looks very good. It's aluminum. It is uh, disperses the heat very, very well inside of it. It's got a little heat sink on top of the processor in there, so it's great. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, TP-Link we already covered, so let's move back over here. Uh, this is um, a cable by, I believe, Nomad. This thing is kick butt because it's like Kevlar. It's like you're never going to break this and it's never going to fray. Uh, and it's got all these adapters. So you got C, Lightning, and Micro. So all, all these cables in one. Uh, it's awesome. It's charging data both. So it's really, really good. A uh, portable, nice little compact Ethernet cable because, yes, you will need Ethernet cables more than likely. This is a little um, switch, so it's not a router, but it is a switch. So what this allows you to do is set up your own little private network. So if I wanted to uh, plug multiple things into this and create a little network like the Raspberry Pi and then maybe my laptop and, and uh, whatever else I want to plug into this, um, I can. Now, that allows you to create like a network, right? You got five things connected and this little guy here, which is the Rev Power Travel Router, uh, gives you routing ability so you include this in the mix and now you have a portable router that will dole out DHCP which would be IP addresses and basically you have your own network right with some routing uh, abilities uh, factor that in too this can take Wi-Fi uh, networks and then make your own private Wi-Fi or also uh, wired and create a wireless network out of a wired network so uh, a lot of a lot of skills and abilities come from having a portable travel router in your bag. Highly recommend. I do have some other ones from, um, and I can't remember the company, like iNet or something like that. But uh, that one is the one that I am actually using today. Then moving on, this is just for uh, volts and stuff. It's for testing different things. Um, it's a USB voltmeter basically. I uh, can show you how many like volts and amps are coming in and out of uh, your tools. Um, very handy because sometimes you got to use like two different uh, ports. So you got something that needs a little extra juice. I have some cables that allow me to uh, get two ports in use into one. So you know if there's not like one amp, one amp or something in a USB, I use both of those into one and I get a two amp output. Um, just you know you never know. So that that helps you gauge like Oh, I'm not having enough amps to support what I need on this this device. So, uh, a good example is a uh, Raspberry Pi, or for Raspberry Pi. That, yeah, that's good. Or a Wi-Fi pineapple. Too many fruits here. 
Juice. Is my, my laptop's an Apple. Okay, so there you go. Uh, moving on. This is just an Ethernet extender. So say you don't have a long enough cable, plug one into this and then another into that, and you can extend it. Uh, this little guy is a loopback. Um, if you're not familiar, with, or is this a crossover? This one might be the crossover cable. Hmm, don't remember. Um, so, I believe this is loopback. So what this is allows you to do um, is kind of dead end a network and isolate it. And then this, I believe, is the crossover adapter. Uh, cable creation. Uh, see, I quit using these and then you're kind of like, oh, what is it? Uh, there used to be a thing called a crossover cable so you could connect one computer to another. And if you just use a regular RG45 cable, it doesn't work, right? Um, this here, it acts like two separate entities. So they act like they're on a network. Uh, and you really don't have to have a network, which is kind of cool. The cable or the adapter here just kind of makes it work. Um, this here guy, uh, if you've ever been power jacked, this prevents it. Um, yeah, it's a thing. So like if you go into like a, you know, a Starbucks and you plug in your computer into a charge port, uh, there are those that are made to actually like either put something on your computer or take stuff off, you know, run some uh, injection scripts and stuff like that. This prevents that. This is a power jack uh, proof thing. Um, this here, uh, I believe, is a bash bunny. And this here is kind of like a USB rubber ducky. Uh, you can inject different things with scripts, plug it in, boom. And you're done. This is a land turtle. It's great for sniffing uh, packets on a land. And you can use this remotely, which is really cool. This is a shark. Oh, what is this one called? This is like the shark jack, I think. Something like that. It's like, kind of like, um, you know, you put it on a network, obviously. Um, oh, I can't remember. Sometimes you get so many of these tools and uh, you lose track of what they do. So that's why I keep all the little uh, envelopes these things come in, so I can refer to them. These usually are in my bag. So like um, I mentioned the land turtle, there you go. And it tells you what it does. So I can always have it, there's the bash bunny, uh, packet squirrel, screen grab, plunder bug. Um, hmm, don't seem to have the shark. So I believe that one is the shark. Uh, then moving on, this is the packet squirrel. Use him quite a bit. Uh, again, it's definitely like uh, man in the middle. Really, really good. And boy, mm, don't remember what that one was. Let me see. Back to looking up these guys. That one is. That's why it's good. It's got kind of pictures on it, right? Um, it's not the screen crib. Not, oh, it's the plunger bug, right? Network sniffer. So. That one there is like plunger bug. And then this is another power bank. Now the thing I like about that is uh, one, I can plug it in and charge. And then I've got C and lightning. Um, so just another nice little power bank to utilize uh, when out and about and actually charging stuff. This here is a Wi-Fi pineapple. All three of those antennas click on this guy here. And this here allows you to intercept and impersonate different Wi-Fi networks. So uh, if somebody is used to getting on Wi-Fi networks, you can, inter you can basically impersonate that Wi-Fi network, have them connect to you, and then you can actually run even like spoofed uh, websites and stuff like that. And uh, then they come back to you and uh, you can gather all their data or whatever. So, uh, and that guy there is a key crack. So basically you plug that in uh, between your keyboard uh, and the computer and then basically it's key logging everything so uh, that one's actually really really cool uh, and uh, so these are the bags that uh, I keep most of the stuff in so this is a screen crab so what this does is actually record your screen so that's kind of a neat little device to have in the middle um, and then got some like cables and adapters and crap. And then again, I keep 
all these little cards because like I said I have a hard time remembering sometimes what all these little tools do uh, this is where I keep some cables but most of the time all of this gear is in here and very well organized and then this little guy right here is actually a Wi-Fi pineapple sometimes you need multiple Wi-Fi pineapples this is the Nano um, and uh, oh wow look here's my rubber ducky so the USB rubber ducky uh, is basically you know if you were like to uh, put a payload on this and plug it in and it, it executes when you plug it in so it's a way to get like stuff onto a computer real quick and and uh, the person doesn't know right uh, let's see also I've replaced a couple of these because these went really really um, got really trashed up but I've got the red team field manual and the blue team field manual in my bag uh, and so really this year is instead of like having to Google stuff, you can just go through this and just look up commands and things. It's a great, great shortcut. Uh, if you don't familiar with Red Team, they're like the attackers and these are the defenders. So, um, you know, if you capture the flag, uh, well, you know, defense, offense, right? So this would be like what a Red Team would execute, and this would be like what a Blue Team would execute uh, to kind of counteract that. So. Uh, Really great books. I highly recommend that you have those in your arsenal because they are lifesavers, shortcut, time savers, you name it. They're awesome. Um, and really that's about it. Like I said, uh, I've got a portable screen uh, for this guy and a little portable keyboard uh, and then my laptop. And then other than that, everything you see here is basically what I would utilize and go from there. Um, yeah, it hasn't changed a whole lot over the maybe the last year and a half, two years. Uh, except you know you're always updating your Kali, uh, but that's super easy. You just get the latest version and you put it on the the micro SD card and you plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and you're good to go. And that's really it. So uh, if you have any questions, I know I kind of skimmed over the the tools. Some of them you know are older and I don't use them anymore because some of them actually superseded it. Um, you know like. You know, maybe I get better results from the packet squirrel uh, than I did the shark, right? So I kind of quit using the shark. So, you know, this is kind of the go-to uh, anymore for sniffing, like, network and stuff. So, and, and even this guy here, uh, yeah, I don't use that one that, that much anymore. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, this is the squirrel, but mm, I can't remember the other two. I kind of quit using them. So anyway... I'll have links to everything that I can find links to in the show notes, so check it out. Uh, I might even put the alternatives for the Rav Power travel router in there, because um, there's a couple of really cool uh, portable routers that uh, you can you can access that uh, give you some pretty good abilities. I gotta say, I also have a hotspot um, that I don't have in here, uh, so that I can bring my own internet. You know, if I have to have it, that's another thing that you might want. And the cool thing about my hotspot is it's also you got an Ethernet port. Uh, so I can plug in something uh, Ethernet-wise and not have to rely on Wi-Fi. If there's a lot of interference and stuff, which I've come across before, uh, that's what we get. So anyway, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the show. More to come. we got a ton of stuff lined up. I hope you enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.